In this video, I'm gonna show you a really good setup out of the trips tied in formation that can help you combat the meta man-to-man -man coverage and also most importantly, how to combat the press coverage that you might be experiencing online if you're a trip side in player. Now, if you're new to the channel, I wanna ask you to hit the subscribe button down below. It's free to subscribe to the channel. Also, if you wanna get my full trips tied in offensive guide, you can actually get access to all of my Madden 22 strategy guides and all of my weekly pro tips by joining my membership for just $10, for only $10 a month, you're gonna get unlimited access to all of my guides and all my exclusive updates and all of our guides get updated as needed as well. So if you wanna check that out, that'll be linked in the description below. It's my Patreon membership, great place to get better at the game. So if you wanna know exactly the setups that I use, um, and again, I've learned from the best in the world, go ahead and join our membership. That'll be linked down in the description. So man coverage is a bit of a problem, or at least it's becoming a bit of a problem. And it's primarily due to the fact that if you're playing someone that knows what they're doing, the press man to man is one of the best ways to basically defend any formation right now. And the way that we deal with this from trips tied in at least the way that I like to deal with it, is from this play, PA Shot Wheel. So I want to give you a setup today out of PA Shot Wheel that I really like for man to man. And ideally, if you, you know, it's not a hash mark dependent play, but I personally like to be on the wide side, my trips to the wide side of the field for this setup. And so I want to first start kind of with a problem. So. If they shade down, which a lot of people right now are shading outside and underneath for their man-to-man, -man, what you'll notice is if I go to PA shot wheel, this wheel route to Chris Godwin a lot of times will get kind of a step over the top, and I can try to lob that if I get a step. However, one of the main tips that a lot of people are using to defend trips tight end right now is something that I talked about earlier on in the season which is putting this safety in an inside quarter. And what you'll see now is that safety will basically top the wheel and he'll take that away. Let me show that a little bit better. I think I have my zone drops on. Let me take those off. Um, this quarter trick will only work with your zone drops off, by the way. So if they don't have zone drops on, this PA shot wheel, and they try to do this, what you'll see, maybe, <laughs> is if I inside quarter, he will basically top the wheel and play perfectly over the top of it. And so you get this bracketed coverage. Now you can try to aggressive catch that, but you are throwing into a double coverage situation. So how do we beat man? Because that's one of the best ways to beat press man is wheel routes. It's been one of the best ways all year to beat press man to man this year. So my favorite way to beat press man is to kind of take advantage of the trips tight end ability to motion snap. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna smart route our, our uh, Mike Evans. And then you've got a couple of different things you can do. So you can go ahead and just run a simple uh, motion snap slant. That's fine. And I'll, I'll show that probably first. Um, you could also run, you know, just different types of things. Um, for example, this route to Mike Evans, if we motion snap this and we snap this at, as soon as he passes the tight end, occasionally, especially with shaded down, you can kind of aggressive catch it or possession catch it on the sideline against man to man. So that's a potential option that you might want to explore. But what I like to do with this play is I really like this wiggly post and wheel. Okay, and so what we're gonna do is a real simple concept. And, and basically all we're going to do is we're gonna take our tight end and I like to put him on an in route and smart route that route. And the reason why I like to smart route the in route is because I think that the smart routed in is one of the most underrated ways to beat man to man in this year's game. And then what I like to do with triangle um, is a couple different things. But essentially when we motion him, we're just gonna put him on a comeback. And this comeback route 
is one of the most underrated routes this year at beating man to man so you see we've got our wheel notice that that quarter adjustment can't get over the top of that guy now if they have a significant speed advantage then yes they can recover but i'll show you what i'm talking about so i'm going to put that quarter to the safety over there and whenever i motion I, it doesn't matter what route i put him on but whenever i motion this guy over here you'll notice that this wheel now can feel be free to get that step and that inside quarter returns to kind of his standard responsibilities so i'll show you that one more time a lot of times they will literally take the inside quarter adjustment off if they see you motion okay that's kind of a standard thing that most defenses will do but what you'll notice is now i can kind of throw this up kind of lob it up and away and you see i've got a chance to hit that over the top so that's that's kind of part a of this is to use this use this route to goblin now if i really want to beat man i love this out route to the running back and we're going to create basically a high low between this comeback and this running back route and what you'll see here is that this running back route is almost always going to cook man and if he doesn't then you can go right to that comeback route and essentially it's just an outside pass lead now you might be wondering how am i shading my coverage i'm shading outside and underneath for my coverage now another thing i want to show is a curl flap and again remember we have this smart routed in to our tight end so we want to snap this comeback just outside the numbers what you'll see here is even though I'm shading down and underneath, and again, I got a terrible, terrible throw by Brady, but this comeback route will be open. Now, if you want to, you can let him set his feet. It might honestly be helpful. If you want to do that, motions, motion him. Um, you can motion him to the left like this. And the only reason why you might want to do that is because you could just put him on a curl. Or another thing that I like to do is if you put him on a smart routed out, you can try to throw that as well. But I'll show you something else. So again, we'll just put him on the comeback. You can take this guy, put him on a whatever, you know what I mean? Just do something simple like this. Obviously they're gonna use or somebody too. Um, but what this does, like I said, is the tight end really gets into kind of a unique position on the field and so he has to be user um there's not they're not gonna be able to cover him with zone all the way across the formation the running back out is really really good just simple to the outside as you can see right there very simple um to the outside and a lot of times that's one of my favorite routes on this play now the other thing that you have on this like i said is this high low on the right side so they have to, I mean, you can't cover both of these routes. And this comeback route, if you let him kind of set his feet, it's harder for the defender. And of course, as I say that, I throw a pick. It's harder for the defender to kind of hit it. Really the perfect world, you would get him, and I'll show you one other thing at the end here that's a little bit more standard that you can use. But I like this comeback this year because if you kind of snap like just before he sets, kind of like right there you'll see that he's not going to get jammed and then you just wait for him to come back as you can see now i'm getting like shedded by richard sherman and regs that's how you know it's crazy but um but anyways now the other reason why i like this comeback route is um i can easily throw so now what they have to do to stop this is they have to put a purple here okay and i'll show you how this purple plays You'll see here, the purple for the most part will stop the comeback. And of course, if we let him set, it'll stop it. So that's kind of what they have to do to stop that. That's what they kind of have to do on that side to stop the comeback. They have to put a curl flat. Well, they also, because again, now just to make it easy, they're gonna be usering this guy, okay? So let's say they put this guy on a purple and then they're usering, you know, that guy right there. They basically have to hang with the tight end. If they don't hang with the tight end, then the tight end is going to be wide open, right? And I'll show you that real quick. You'll see every time, just aggressive catch it, 
and normally that purple actually will go with the wheel so i'll show that one more time here so if the tight end has like positioning which he always will because he's not gonna get jammed this in route is really good so just aggressive catch it across as you can see that's a little bit more what it's supposed to look like okay so that's that now what they're gonna have to do on this wheel is they kind of need somebody over the top so if they're kind of really pushing for this underneath coverage and their users in the middle of the field having to deal with the tight end because they have zones outside to deal with the comeback and all that. Now, gosh dang it, this is crazy. This practice mode, practice mode sheds are insane this year. They've been insane for like the last three years, but they're insane this year. Anyways, I'm spying the D line because I don't want to have to deal with it. But anyways, purple, purple, and then their users here. Okay, what you should see is one of two things. So your your deep post has a very good chance at getting open especially if you have like any ability on him whatsoever it'll it, it does have a chance the other thing though is your wheel if there's no safety help over the top you can see here that i can catch that in stride because they shade it underneath so if they don't shade underneath by the way it's a lot harder uh for the defense to be able to stop some of the basic things that we're doing so now what they have to do is they have to have a deep half zone and they have to have a purple zone over there for the tight end in route if you want to put the tight end on a post and you have hot route master be my guest to put him on a post so you could put him on a post if you put the tight end on a post i really really recommend this put this backside guy on a smart routed in and do something like this or even like a zig to circle and you'll see that this smart routed in will be a really consistent read over the middle for you as I pump fake. But you see what I'm saying, he's wide open. Mr. Donovan Smith's gotta show off his skills. So those are some basic principles for how you can kind of combat this. Again, if they're doing the two purples outside like that, what you wanna do is you wanna attack inside. So something as simple as, you know, like I said, maybe something like this here's another example a tight end drag and then a scotty miller in route like this this right here is one of my favorite route combos in the game because i got the wheel for man so there's no deep safety over that and then now their user has to choose are they going to guard this deep post or are they going to guard the dig coming underneath that and you know so again simple 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 stuff now last setup that i want to go over today so we know that the purple, um, we know that they have to purple over here on the right side. So how do we force them to have to do that? Or why should they? Why don't they just leave this guy in coverage here? This is where this setup comes in. So we're gonna put our tight end on a tight end apprentice corner. If you do not have tight end apprentice, put him on a smart routed out route, okay? But we're gonna put him on a tight end apprentice corner. And then what we're gonna do with uh, Scotty Miller here is we're gonna put him on a slant and then we're gonna take our running back and put him on either a out route or if you want to put him on an option route you can so what you see here is we have the same high low to the right but now we have this slant coming back across and if you watch this tight end apprentice corner you want to aggressive catch it if you don't aggressive catch it you can throw interceptions I know firsthand but you see that that's wide open now let me show you how that works also um, against a shaded outside underneath and we'll show you the smart routed out as well the smart routed out um, I think is even better but what you'll see here he gets this nice separation aggressive catch it you see that he kind of gets really drives at the corner and really gets some basic simple separation so what this forces is this purple zone now I want to show one little thing here with this purple zone on this last setup and that is this one little trick that you can do so you see here how this curl flat like he'll kind of cover it and then he kind of doesn't so if you want to hold the curl flat defender a little bit better what you can do is just don't run the running back on a route um so you're gonna see here i'm gonna block the leave the running back blocking or you could put him on a ghost route by the way and what you'll see here is this slant should pull the curl flat inside didn't quite do it perfectly there but you see it did kind of bail at the end of the route and then last thing that i want to show is how the curl or not the curl but the um 
the ghost route does such an incredible job this year with curl flats you'll see right here holds the curl flat in like crazy and you see that that is wide open now so that's how you can use the ghost route if you're looking for a way to kind of get that involved if they're using purples over here and they're not using zone drops which typically they don't especially when defending trips because of those quarters this is a really really good route combo um, another little trick that you can run if you want to is you could run your running back on a angle route or an in route and then you can run Miller on like a little hitch or a little smoke something like this you'll see this curl flat suck in like crazy and it allows me to throw this tight end corner even add a curl flat why this is important is let's say that they have this guy in a deep half and then let's say this guy's either in a deep half or in an underneath zone or something like that now we force their user to have to make a decision am i going to guard the corner or am i going to guard this um, s post which i can aggressive catch and have potential for a one play touchdown so those are some man beating concepts out of trips tight end that i like to go to I think press man, you're going to continue to see it. I think it is the best way to play defense right now, to be honest. And if you can master some of these key concepts, using motion, changing things up, you can really give man some trouble. So thanks for watching the video. And if you want to learn the rest of the offensive ebook, like I said, it's linked in my Patreon. There's a link in the description below where you can go join the membership. And remember, by joining, you don't only get access to the Tripside Any book, you'll also gain access to all of our Madden strategy guides and all of our weekly pro updates. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.